So by now, I'm sure that most of you have heard that billionaire Elon Musk is trying to back out of his contract to purchase Twitter. Now, in the event he's successful, he still may be on the hook for a billion dollars. Either way, I don't necessarily care too much about this story. If I had to choose, my preference would be that Elon Musk did not buy Twitter because I have no confidence that he would run it in a competent manner. But either way, I don't really care that much about Twitter. So it's not that big of a deal to me, but people are reacting to the story and conservatives really care about this because they believe that Elon Musk cares about free speech when demonstrably that's not true. But Trump in particular had an interest in Elon Musk buying Twitter because Elon Musk had signaled that in the event he successfully purchased Twitter, he would unban Donald Trump. But now that's seemingly off the table. So Donald Trump, like all of us, reacted to the news and he decided to take a shot at Elon Musk as well. Or should I say, Leon's. Leon's, I tell you what, Elon, Elon is not gonna buy Twitter. Where did you hear that before? From me, from a fake account. She says fake, a lot of them. Nah, he's got himself a mess. You know, he said the other day, oh, I've never voted for a Republican. I said, I didn't know that. He told me he voted for me. <laughs> so he's another bullshit artist, but he's not going to be buying it. He's not going to be buying it. Although he might later. Who the hell knows what's going to happen? He's got a pretty rotten contract. I looked at his contract. Not a good contract, but he's not. Sign up for truth. We love the truth. So he called Elon Musk, i.e. Leon's, a bullshit artist, and claimed that he told Trump that he voted for him, even if Elon Musk recently stated that he never voted for a Republican before. Now, interestingly enough, Leon's decided to respond with some insults of his own. He claims he never told Donald Trump that he voted for him, and he goes on to make more tweets about Trump, saying, I don't hate the man, but it's time for Trump to hang up his hat and sail into the sunset. Dem should also call off the attack. Don't make it so Trump's only way to survive is to regain the presidency. Um, I say no to that because the president is not above the law, but that's a different story for a different day. He also claims that Trump is just too much drama and adds, do we really want a bull in a china shop situation every single day? Also, I think the legal maximum age for start of presidential term should be 69. LOL. Nice one, Elon. He adds, Trump would be 82 at end of term, which is too old to be chief executive of anything, let alone the president of the United States of America. If DeSantis runs against Biden in 2024, then DeSantis will easily win. He doesn't even need to campaign. Now, I'm not one to agree with Leon's on anything, but I do think that he's correct to assume that in the event DeSantis were to run against Joe Biden, he'd have an easier time of beating him than Donald Trump. So Elon Musk is... He's using kid gloves to insult Donald Trump, right? But by stating that DeSantis is his preferred fascist, he is pushing Donald Trump's buttons. Make no mistake about it, because Trump currently views DeSantis as his biggest rival in 2024. And DeSantis has not shown enough deference to Donald Trump, and Donald Trump has been noticing. So DeSantis is taking money from Trump's donors. He's also holding meetings with Trump's donors as Politico reports. And because DeSantis is refusing to kiss Trump's ring, there are reports that Trump is literally considering announcing a presidential run again in front of DeSantis's house. I kid you not. So Donald Trump is truly the king of petty. And let's be clear, I don't want him to run again. But in the event he were to run, would I prefer that he make that announcement in front of DeSantis's house? Yes, I think that would be amazing to watch. Um, so look, as Cameron Kasky put it on Twitter, love it when the girls are fighting. Now Trump needs to go after DeSantis to confuse their shit-brained stands. Trump versus DeSantis would rule and help the Republican Party be as scrambled and disjointed as the Democratic Party right now. Level the playing field. Exactly. I love to see them fight. I hope that Elon Musk and Donald Trump continue to exchange uh, insults. I hope that this escalates into a feud between Donald Trump and Ron DeSantis. There's already been kind of a cold war between Trump and DeSantis, but I hope that this Elon Musk or Leon's feud with Donald Trump escalates and kind of fans the flames of this fight between Trump and DeSantis. It is really nice to see these signs that the GOP base, conservatives in general, are fracturing because... When you see the rise of fascism, any out that you can find is cause for optimism. Any splintering that you can see is cause for celebration. And we need to make sure that we foster the development of this feud in any way, shape, or form. So if I have to temporarily jump on Team Leon's in order to root against Donald Trump and root for his downfall, 
then I'm all for it. I I'm down. So uh, I think that they should continue to argue. Uh, I anxiously await Donald Trump's response. If Trump doesn't respond to Elon, then this is kind of proof that he's a cuck, right? So we should probably issue a statement on Truth Social immediately and call out Elon Musk for um, a variety of reasons. I, I mean, there there's no shortage of reasons to insult Elon Musk, but the same is true for Donald Trump. So, you know, this feud could go on for years, potentially. I, I just hope that it continues to... Um, Fester. I'd love to see it. Let them fight.